So what is MIDI in, out, and through? It's basically three jacks on the back of a synthesizer. Sometimes synthesizers only have in and out. Sometimes they only have in, sometimes they only have out. Uh, if they're gonna miss one of them, it's often the through. And at first you'd think, wow, this is a really simple subject, because you know I could go an hour on all the things that MIDI does, but it's pretty simple to just talk about in and out and through, but the reason that it's important is that a lot of people don't completely understand the difference between out and through, so I thought I'd give you a demonstration of that and show you how you could possibly use that to make your music more interesting. So today I'm using the wonderful Novation Summit synthesizer and another powerful synthesizer, the ASM Hydrosynth in the desktop form. And we're gonna start, I can obviously play this. And I can play the pads. But supposing I wanted those two sounds to go together. So now I need MIDI. If I want this to play this, I have to come out of the MIDI out of this to the MIDI in of that. So we'll start there. And then the other end of this cable goes to the MIDI in of the Hydrosynth. So now, as expected, I should be able to play this keyboard, hear this sound, then it's coming from the MIDI out to the MIDI in, so I should also hear that sound. I've made sure that they're on the same MIDI channel and it all should just work. And because on purpose I've made it so that it's not sending program changes and it's not receiving program changes, I can just change to any program sound I want on either of them and they're both gonna still play. And conversely, if I took the MIDI out from that to the MIDI in of this, I'd be able to play these sounds from these pads. So now, with the MIDI out going to the in and the in going to the out, you might think it would cause trouble, but they actually thought through that, and that's why through is a separate thing. Now I'll turn the volume off on this, and you should still be able to hear this when I play the pads. And if I turn this up, of course, you will hear both. And because we have MIDI to out and out to in, I can also play this keyboard and play both. But everybody gets that. Most people get what the in does, what the out does. But now what does the through do? Well, this is a little different. Through, by definition, is an exact copy of what's ever coming into the MIDI in. So whatever comes into the in jack is going exactly back out of the through jack. And it has nothing to do with the keyboard itself. So anything I play does not get to this. I now have the through going to this, and I'm gonna play this synth. And this synth is not playing. In order for through to work, I'd actually have to get another keyboard to go to the MIDI in of this so that it comes out the through. So now I have the ASM Hydrosynth Explorer. I'm not even plugging in its audio. I'm just using the MIDI out to demonstrate MIDI through. So I'm coming out of the Explorer into the Novation Summit and then from the through into the input of the Hydrosynth. So with both of the volumes down, you'll hear, you're not hearing anything. If I turn this up, you're going to hear this synthesizer. And the reason you hear that is because I'm coming from the MIDI out to the MIDI in. So it's gonna play this. But if I turn this down and turn the next one up, you're also gonna hear this one play. And the reason is because the through is an exact copy of what's going into the in. So here is the second synth.
Now, if I play this keyboard, and I'm going to turn its volume off, it won't play this keyboard. Why? Because the through that's going to this is only a copy of what's going into the in. It is not anything that's being played from this keyboard. So the important takeaway is that through does not get MIDI from the keyboard that the through jack is on. It only takes MIDI from somewhere else. And you're thinking, why on earth would you want that? And I'll tell you the reason, daisy chaining. You could have one controller that goes to the in of one synthesizer, from the through of that to the next synthesizer, from the through of that to the next synthesizer, and you could have 16 different MIDI channels if you wanted, if your controller keyboard was that clever that it could do 16 different zones. And the idea being that any of the synths that you play other than the controller won't play the other keyboards. Only the controller will play all of the keyboards because they're all using the through. And none of the keyboards will be transmitting anything through the through because the through is only a copy of what comes in the input. So now, basically, I can play both of these keyboards. But if I only wanted to play this keyboard, I could just play it. And it's not playing this. Now, of course, with anything having to do with synthesizers, there are exceptions and options that make all of this much more complicated. So I'll just say them real quick. Sometimes you want your through to also have what's being played on this keyboard. And so sometimes in an option mode, you might be able to merge the keyboard and the input to the through so you get both. Also, there is a setting sometimes where the through can only be an out, and you think, why do I want that? Because if you daisy chain too much, each time is adding some finite number of milliseconds, and it really could, after 16 of those, have a slight delay. So by having more outs, you could send one out to half of those and the other out to the other half, and it would cut the delay time in half. Um, and so they're all different kind of tricks like that. Don't worry about that for now. The key takeaway is that input is what plays the synth that you're coming in on. The output, when you play it, it sends those MIDI notes out, and the through is only an exact copy of what's coming into the input and not what you're playing on the keyboard that you're plugged into. If you have any further questions about MIDI or the Hydrosynths or the Novation Summit, please contact your Sweetwater Sales Engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching.